You came to me, we were talking on the putting green one day and you said, I've got a putting device, but uh, there's a lot of things I think could be better about it. So tell me what your thoughts are. But there is not a device out there that can facilitate all the tools you need to be a, a good putter day in, day out. We think we've incorporated everything that's in the other devices out there and a lot more. Uh, you're gonna see some of those things when we demonstrate how it's used. So here's the putting thing. It's the second piece of the Y-Golf putting system. We have gates here for the putter to go through, and we have gates for the ball to go through. So the more proficient you are, and depending on the width of your putter, you can make these as tight as you want to make it very, very narrow for your putter to get through because you want that stroke the same every time, or you can make it a little wider to begin with. Very easy to adjust. Same thing with a ball. If you're going from, from one, it's pretty easy to get the ball through. But if you don't, the ball will hit off it and you'll know that immediately. As you get better, you tighten these up. If you can get all the way to four, that means that ball has gotten through with a 32nd of an inch on each side. That's a really, really good stroke. Also, when you're over the ball, you can see if your eyes are over it. These two grooves match up with the ball. So as you look down, you'll see whether the ball is centered in there. If the ball's centered in there, then you know your eyes are over the ball. And finally, this is more than just a line back here. It's actually a little rubber strip. And the reason for that is on other putting aids, when you put the putter down, it tends to slide. You know, if you're a type of person that, that just rests the putter on the green, it doesn't slide. So we have this little rubber piece here so the putter won't slide. So those are the features and things that we're gonna talk about with the putting thing. I wanna aim it a little bit right of the hole. Oops. And you'll see that for when it's indoors, it has little spikes on the bottom so it won't move. When it's outdoors, you'll see four holes in there. Those are for tees to put in the, put in the grass. See if this is lined up correctly. Jeez. So I missed that left, which I have to move it to the right a little bit. Okay. Just hit a few shots until you get it, until it's going in the hole a couple times in a row. Nice. All right, hit one more just to double check. Very nice. And then I would put the tees in the ground. Got it, perfect. So now the next step is to remove the, the ball guide. Now you're ready to go. Now that we have it all set up, he's gonna show you how to use it. So Anthony, how do you adjust the gates for the putter? Let's start with that. So I like to put the ball down set my putter right behind the ball. And for me and my putter, I use a, the third setting. And you simply, if you needed to adjust it to make it a little bit wider, just twist it, it moves very easy. And, uh, or you can make it tighter, but for me, the four setting would be uh, too tight for my putter. Gotcha, and you want, for you, as a, at a pro level, you only want about an eighth of an inch on each side of that putter head, don't you? Yes, you want to make it as snug as possible yeah. because you know, contact is very important. Right. You'll see Tiger do this drill with tees, and it's very, very tight. Now, as a beginner, you can open that up a little bit, get used to it and, until, you, until you can dial in your stroke a little bit. So Anthony, what would you tell the amateurs out there to do with the ball gates? How do you think they should adjust those? I would start number one. It, it's, it's wide, but if, as long as you get it through the one number one gate, it doesn't matter what kind of putt you're hitting, it'll go in. It might go in left edge or right edge, but as long as you get it through the gate with the right speed, the ball will go in the hole. So Anthony, tell me a little bit about, you know, how you make sure you're consistent in your address every time and, you know, how frequently you have to use this or another device to make sure your eyes are exactly where you want them and the ball's positioned where you want them. So you consistent stroke. Yeah, I would recommend using this every day, even if it's for five minutes, because uh, it's very important that your setup is consistent if you want to be a consistently good putter. And so you're going to see several different lines behind the ball or, or in the ball area. And... The first two lines are on either side of the ball. You wanna make sure you can see the lines on the far side and on the inside of the ball. If you can only see one line, then you know you're either too far inside with your eyes or too far over with your eyes. And you'd want to adjust to make sure you can see both lines. Now, some people want their eyes a little bit inside. You never want them outside the ball, but sometimes you want them inside. So you can get over the ball and you can see both lines and then you can then you can move a little bit and one of the lines will kind of half disappear. Yes, is that, is that how you do and it? That, I'm totally okay with that, but as long as you're consistent, if you're right. someone who wants to be inside the ball, then every time you use this device, you'd want to be able to see the inside line and not the outside line. Yeah, perfect. 
Uh, got it. And the little line that's behind there is actually a piece of rubber back there. Tell me about what the value of that is and might even tell them how we how we ended up with that. Yeah, so we had showed this device when we were, I mean, I made a prototype to one of my buddies and also a pro golfer. And he, the thing he didn't like about the device or that he, his biggest complaint was that the putter slides too much in church. So any device where you're placing your putter and on anything but the green tends to slide. And so it's just a little rubber strip to, um, uh, I guess, assimilate what the green would be like so your putter's not sliding around. Okay. Yeah, it was a great ad. It was a great suggestion. Yes. Yeah, terrific. So Anthony, hit a couple of putts for us. Right now we have the, the, the putter gates set for his putter with not much room for error, and the ball gates are set at two, which is more of an easier setting. But hit a couple, hit a couple of putts for us. Let's see where they go. Nice. A little short on speed. The way this is set is um, the, the numbers we set for is about a, going to hit a putt at speed about, so it's going to end up about 18 inches past the hole if you miss it. So obviously I didn't hit the dial, but I missed not. the putt because it was a little bit incorrect short. speed. Yep, exactly. All right, one more. There you go. Perfect. Nice job. Okay, so you made some really nice putts there. That was set on two. Now we're going to tighten them up to three. Actually, I'm going to tighten them to four and because okay. I want to see a miss so people can see what happens when it hits the gate a little bit. You can make it on a four, but it's a, it's a challenge. There you go. So we're going to miss on purpose. Well, you see if you can get it through. See that? You could hear it hit, and it kicked off to the right. See that? Hit, hit the left gate and, and kick to the right so you know that you're not your stroke is not pure and the ball's not going straight through. Okay, so one more thing, Anthony, that, uh, that we noticed when we were using it. Tell me a little bit about the alignment of your putter in here. Some putters don't have the line in the middle, so you can adjust these gates to different settings if you want, but, but how do you think about it? Yeah, so you, the, the cool part about this device is you can customize uh, the dials, you can customize whether it's the putting dial, the ball dial, to, uh, to suit your needs. The other cool thing too is for me personally, I tend to hit, I would tend to hit the left dial, I tend to hit putts off the toe. So I can make this much tighter than the toe dial. I'm never gonna hit the toe dial right. to really challenge myself to hit gotcha. good contact. So you're gonna change that pattern, that stroke pattern by doing that. Yes. Terrific, that's another, another benefit to it.